Guess who's back? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have an amazing guest, the husband. Amazing. The husband yes. is back. He's back. Yes. Amazing. I love the word amazing. I know you. Should have, you should have had a little shaving. Yeah? Listen, I just came out pen in it. <laughs> Okay, so hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. So I asked you guys yesterday on well yeah, it was yesterday night. I asked you guys yesterday night on Instagram to send in some question not, not questions, but like topics to talk about. Me and Adam love doing these, so we thought we'd bring them back for you guys and you guys really enjoyed watching these, yeah, right? Yeah, definitely. But we're gonna be doing it on my channel just to switch stuff up a little bit. We were gonna initially gonna do mukbang, but in literally half an hour, we're gonna go down to my mom's house because oh crap! Literally, my mom's invited us down for lunch. So initially, we were gonna do a mukbang, but since we're, we've been invited, we can't really do a mukbang. Yeah, you can't double eat. We can't double eat. So yeah, um, yeah. So the topic we asked you guys to ask in some like you know topics to talk about, and literally everyone wants us to talk about marriage. Like I don't know why you guys love us talking about marriage and stuff, but. It seems a problem. Mumma will open a dating website. I don't know. Like I love think. dating websites. Yeah, like. <laughs> so yeah, we thought we would talk about our four-year marriage update because I'm gonna insert some. Like, four years. <laughs> <laughs> because me and Adel have been married for over four years. Our anniversary was in um, January. <laughs> No. Shut the thing there. <laughs> Our uh, wedding anniversary was actually um, the beginning of January, so we've been third married. of January. Second and third. I know you guys are wondering, like, is how that is a fourth? No, second. And is third. that a fourth? Second and fourth. Third and fourth, idiot. I swear. Is that a fourth? I swear, not. Is that a fourth? You trying to share? Is that a fourth? How much you invest with this? Is that a fourth? We'll uh, get back to you on that one, but anyway. <laughs> Yeah, um, we thought we'd do a four year marriage update and tell you guys how it's been. I can't believe we've been married for four oh, years. Time flies, isn't I've been it? stuck with that. this one for four years. All right, see this, guys. <laughs> no, you're just lazy to you shave your beard, man. You see this, guys? No. You see, Damn, this, you see this, guys? You see this, guys? Wrinkles. Every strand of beard has its own story. <laughs> you literally touch so much above, you know? Anyways, so where should we begin? Four years. What well, have you learned in four years about me? Okay, why well, have, have you I learned in four years? Yeah, about me. That's promising, isn't it? <laughs> okay. No, no, what have I learned in four years? Yeah, like, what have I've you learned? Oh, I know, that... I know, I know. We can start off by saying what we've learned about each other. Yeah, let's go uh, do that. That's what we're just doing. You <laughs> <laughs> just asked me that already. So okay. I was going to tell you my bit. Yeah, but I didn't know I was going to. Okay, whatever. Just. <laughs> Just carry on, okay? Carry on. <laughs> what I've learned about you in four years. Wow, sir. Now, I've learned that you're a very outgoing person yeah. and you don't like to sit at home sometimes. <laughs> you know, when someone's tired and this one's. You're like, making me joke about what? <laughs> I just no, 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 guys, you would know sometimes, you know when you're tired from work and you just want to sit, play with a PlayStation, You make have me your sound so bad. You make me sound so bad. I am a very, very outgoing no, no, it's person. Not a bad thing. It's I like to go person. out and do things because I work. Okay, let me get this straight. I work from home, as you guys probably know if you didn't know. I work from home, so and Adol's at work, so he's at work all day, and I've pretty much been stuck at home most, most, most days. So um, when I'm at home, but you do go out though. I do go out, but like, I'm, not, not, I'm not, I'm not that lonely. Okay, but I'm just saying because I work from home. Like, I want to go out and do things, especially with you. So, no. when he comes home, he's already been at work, he's already been out all day. So that's why... Conflict. Yeah. It gets like this sometimes, it gets like this. So I want to go out <laughs> no, and do I don't things, mind. I always and he go out wants anyway. to, yeah. I always go out then. Like I have a choice. He loves when I do this. It might be cringy to you guys, but... Oh, don't feel sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> every, every like girl out there who has like a boy or like a man or her husband, whatever, has a beard. They just, they just, they love doing that. Anyways, okay. So, <laughs> one thing I learned about you um, in four <laughs> years that you're, you become very patient. <laughs> and no, that's I was a, always no, patient. no, no. 
<laughs> You're all right. Let's <laughs> <That's> not, <laughs> not lie, darling. Let's not lie. Yeah. No, you have become very, very patient. What's By the way, I just want to stop here and just say, if you can hear this bobbling noise, kind of bobbly noise in the background. Is that your fish tank? It's our fish tank and obviously you need oxygen in the fish tank so you can hear probably like... Filter. Yeah, the filter going on. So if you're wondering what that noise is, that's the noise. Anyways, yeah, so what I've learned about you in four years, I think you're very, very patient. You have to deal with me and uh, you're very patient with that, which is amazing. Every girl knows time of month. We're like different well, kinds. Well, you know, you're not bad. You're not no. that bad. I used to be bad in it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I used to be like, because I'm anemic, so obviously, like, it does affect me, but like, before I used to, like, be really bad in that sense. But now it wasn't I'm not really bad. Not really bad way, like, I destroy everything around me, but it was bad, but now I've kind of dealt with it. Yeah. I'd say you're very understanding, and that's a good thing because. It's a big thing for guys to be like very like understand because guys, obviously guys have egos. That's not lie. Um, but yeah, no. and that's why I like about you and your character is that you're very like you're different than other guys, mm. and that's that's a good thing. Oh, thanks. I said such nice things, and you're just like oh, oh she's I very outgoing. That's not a bad thing, is it? Well, it's not a good thing, is it? It's in between. Yeah, so where's the nice thing? If we roll back to when we first got together, when we first got married and stuff like that, I would say the hardest years, well, for me personally, maybe you can speak on your behalf, was the first year of marriage. What was the first year? I would say the first year because we were still getting to know each other. If you guys didn't know, if you didn't know how we met, I'll leave that video down below for you guys to um, for you guys to watch. But basically, we got married just after knowing each other for like six months, which was very quick to a lot of people. And it is really quick to be fair. Like a lot of people get to know each other it's for at least though, at least a year or so. But me and Adil were actually speaking about this yesterday. Over well, yeah, like I said to you yesterday. Yeah, we were speaking about like this. Like if you if you know the person for like. Through two, three years, whatever, yeah. right? you know everything about it. Then when you get married, it's like deja vu, you know, yeah. like kind of sense. But if you get married early and you start learning things, it's a journey and it's exciting. It's exciting, isn't it? You know what I mean? Because you get to Rather learn more about that person. When you're married, oh yeah, I already know about the person fully. Yeah. You know, I know that person. Fully. I know what she likes. But now it's interesting, it's exciting to know what that person is going to be like. Yeah. That's why I feel like maybe other people put on a different way, but I mean, obviously, it's crucial to obviously know about that person. Six not I don't, blindly, yeah, like, not blindly go into marriage and like not know anything about that person. Of course, you have to have some similarities. But have six stuff months is a lot of time. But yeah, six months is perfect like, because you to know the person. Yeah, and obviously in Islam, we're not meant to be. You're not supposed to be like dating and, and, and really stuff. getting to know each other. So. Yeah, I agree with that. Like we were actually speaking. It's so funny because we were actually speaking about this yesterday over lunch. We were like, mm. it's just randomly we started speaking about marriage and stuff. So actually, it's a good, it's a good video because it's kind of <laughs> what we were talking about, anyways. But yeah, um, that's kind of what we've like learned in like yeah. for like well for me, like I said, the first year of marriage for me was the hardest because I had not even tell you why. Fun, yeah, anyways. <laughs> yeah, the first year of marriage for me was the hardest because I feel like we, because we were like so head over heels for each other. We had like trust issues. Mm. Do you agree with that? Yeah, it was like we had trust issues. But obviously, everybody is normal to have that. I know. When I don't know. Some people are like they're not jealous of each other as much. Like you know, this everyone's got their yeah. own kind of thing going on for them. But for me and Adol, like um, the first year, well, for me anyways, I'm speaking on my behalf. I found it really <laughs> hard because I thought like we were like very jealous of each other. Like we didn't trust each other. But like obviously, over the course of like how many years now? Four years down the lane. But um, yeah, like it was only the first year, half of it. Like, it wasn't yeah, enough, it wasn't yeah, yeah, yeah. Much. It wasn't like so long, but like when we first got to each other, like obviously trust issue was such like an issue for us. Like, I, I feel like most of our arguments were, let's be honest, most of our arguments were about like trusting each other, or, like what you're gonna do when you go out and stuff like that. But mm. do you know what I mean? Like, it's just I feel like because yes, we we got married really young as well, didn't we? We yeah. got married when we like when I was Nobody's 21. Nobody's nice though. What about you? What when you feel like the first year? First year was for me it was like communication with my family for you oh yeah like in a sense because obviously did my mom don't speak english yeah and obviously uh, a daughter-in-law would communicate more with He's the mother-in-law than the father-in-law you know what i mean mm -hmm. so it's just that just that bar just that barrier is getting over but now it's all right she understands yeah some gujarati my mom understands some english so it's 
so I feel like, you know, even though I can't speak it. It's more comfortable it, now than it was before. Yeah, yeah. it was a, li like a little bit awkward at first because obviously, mm. like, like he said, the language barrier was like such an issue. Yeah. But now, like, even though I can't speak the language, I still understand, like, a few words just make a lot of sense to me. Like, when you guys are speaking, I can kind of get an idea of what you guys are speaking about, which yeah. is kind of cool and kind of interesting, actually. So, yeah, but now you don't feel like that's an no, issue. No, it's anyway. normal now, yeah. But yeah, that's like how it is for like, if you're like getting uh, adjusted married adjusted into the family basically. yeah like and no if you're like getting married into like a mixed race like obviously mm. different cultures and stuff like that that's how it is obviously me and Adela are both different cultures and both different like you know thingies so yep. it's gonna obviously be a bit hard at first but you adjust to it so easily and but I find those kind of things exciting it's interesting it makes that it like different than, isn't it like, it's what I'm hungry I swear one thing Adela <laughs> does the loads I don't get hungry very often. My metabolism is so high, so every time I eat, half an hour later, I'm hungry again. Whereas me, I get hungry very often, but when I eat, like a meal, I get full so quick. Small portions, she's full, like, cheese this meal, like, what? No, honestly, like, when I eat, I can't, like, eat a massive meal, because I get so full and so bloated, I just can't. But you I know get, what I miss? I get, like, hungry often. Mum's mm. biryani. You should ask him mm. what to make it, because I miss that too. Honestly, you know, last time, mom made my mother-in-law makes the you know, best I mean, biryani ever. I've had three plates, you know that. I know, last time we went down. <laughs> like, she makes the best biryani. Yeah, if you know, nice. you know. Gujarati biryani, too. Mm. Mm. <laughs> but anyway, it's exciting because my mom's making a lot of food. Roast dinner! My mom's making a roast, I'm well excited, so... See, this is the one I like. I like the... I like the, the Different the, culture. The, the, the white side. <laughs> And, the and Asian then side. I like the Asian side. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I got best of both worlds. Ha! So the next topic we'll say we'll talk about is things to do to keep the relationship alive and not get boring. Yeah, because it can get very like deja vu. Obviously, you guys like if you're married, you're married like you're married for life. Obviously, so like every day can seem like a bit of a deja vu. You go to work, you come back, you eat, and like it can be quite sameish. So. Basically, we're going to talk about how we can spice things up and make it more interesting and more live and not like just very deja vu-ish. I feel like the intimate part of relationship is very important. Obviously, things that like you keep to yourself, but keep that in mind, that is a, part, a big part of relationship as well. That's it. That's what I'm going to say. <laughs> it's true though, isn't it? It's a bit awkward talking about this. No, but it's true though, isn't it? Yeah. What would you say? I would say um, having at least one day out of your busy schedule just for you two. So say you're married and you've got kids, yeah. maybe leave your kids with like I was your say that. really. Yeah. I hate <laughs> but maybe leave your kids with like your in-laws or leave it with your mother or like anyone who can look after your kid. Maybe get like a nanny to look after it or something. But have that one day out of the week where it's just about you two. So go on mm. a date night, Very go important. do things that you guys enjoy doing. It be bowling. It be snooker i don't know just do something that you guys really enjoy doing and have that time just for you it's so crucial we enjoy in going to cinema don't we we go cinema we go out we try we love trying new places like new, new food. foods and stuff like that so let us know what you and your partner enjoy doing in the comments section below let's get the comments going yeah let share your know. ideas see what you what is, want to see what you guys get up to yeah like that maybe we can take some bits from you guys yeah you guys can take from us, maybe, yeah. I don't know, let us know, but uh, another thing like you and your partner can do that can obviously keep the relationship going is like do stuff that you guys enjoy, like I, like I just mentioned to you, going out and doing things, but also hiking. Cooking. Yeah, like hiking and walking like, is staying, really good. Staying fit is so important as well, like yeah. stay fit together, like go for walks, go for hikes, yeah. go to the gym together. One key thing I would say in your relationship, if you feel like maybe like your marriage is not going how you expected it to be, work on it don't give up on your like relationship and your marriage like work it on it it takes two to tango yeah like why am i doing this i mean two to <laughs> two, tango like work on it like if you feel like maybe you know you don't feel like something's gonna speak to your partner that's so important in a relationship yes You're speaking about each other so yeah do not bottle things and try to speak to each other anything that's on your mind speak very to. important to speak to the other yeah. person otherwise how the other, how do you expect the other person to know how you're feeling yeah you know what I mean? It's not like we got psychic powers, I'm gonna read your mind. Mm. You know what I mean? Like. You're hungry. Yay! 
Yay, I got it right. I'm always hungry. <laughs> <laughs> You're always going to get that right. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to end this video, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed our four-year marriage update. How four have years. I, how long have I been married to you for four years? Crazy. I'm Bloody hell, like, mate. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, don't forget to smash that thumbs up. And we shall see you guys really, really soon. Really, really <laughs> soon in our next video. Until then, bye. Peace.